Welcome to Coaching Uncut, a special series on the Unstoppable Woman podcast, where I take you behind the scenes and give you a peek into the private coaching I do with my clients. All of these coaching calls have been recorded with the permission from my clients who have generously allowed me to share these with you as a way of helping more people in this world. They give you access to master level coaching and the opportunity to learn the lessons that they're learning right along with them. Please keep in mind that these recordings are not studio productions and the audio quality may be less than ideal, but the content will take you far and help you become unstoppable. With that, listen in and learn. Have you ever had that experience of knowing what to do, but just not doing it? Or getting the same results, living out the same experiences again and again and again, like Groundhog Day? If you've experienced this, like most humans have, I invite you to listen in to this Coaching Uncut episode, where I talk to my client about how to change her set point for life and business. In this episode, we call it the addiction to crappy because it's an emotional set point. And it's what's driving the level of results that she's getting in both her life and her business. So if you want to have personal freedom and really break through financially and in your relationships, your life, how you walk through this day, how you live a delighted life, please listen to this episode and implement what I share. Good morning. How are you? Good. So... I want to share that while I've been going through my one step forward, sometimes feeling like four steps back for one reason or another. Um, And I've been like last week, I feel like every day there was a reason why I was crying, not related to the business, but other stuff, which in the back of my mind, I kept hearing the, um, you know, addiction to crappy, Mm -hmm. you know, but it, it, it kept coming up and I see the pattern where I, it's not new, but I'm cognizant of the pattern of them letting that throw me off course with other things I need to do because I'm consumed with feeling, you know, some level of grief is an extreme word, but, you know, like deep sadness or like I just can't motivate and now I'm tired and all this shit. So that's all the negative stuff. That being said, on the positive and what I'm excited about was finally yesterday I, you know, after having the the hundredth, well, I don't really know what to say, la, 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 la. I finally, you know, sent a a message to my small but mighty list about my free Facebook group. Sent it to some other people who aren't on the list yet. I've got all these people joining my Facebook group. I went in there and posted I posted on my business page because I need to be doing that before I can run ads. i got to have some activity there. I've generated a list. Um, I think I got to like 45, but I generated a list of like, you know, 45 topics, things to talk about. Um, Great. Great. Yeah. 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 And, you know, that get, definitely got help from my, uh, you know, living room session peeps, you know, when I was like, I don't really know what to do about content. Like, where do I start? Blah, 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 blah. And um, gave this example, this tactical example of peeling the onion and like coming up with a list and then take each thing on the list and turn that into, you know, two, three things, whatever. So I've got to keep iterating on it. But the point is, it was, I finally got moving again. And um, it was definitely gratifying to get, you know, people wanting to sign up and join the group and having some people in there 
you know, now it's like, well, got to, that's another positive forcing mechanism. Much why, were, better. why were you cry, crying every day this week? Um, it was, and it wasn't for a long time every day, you know, but there was, uh, it was typically related to ongoing crap with my brother and then my mom, uh, and the mom wasn't like a fight with her, but just like feeling uh, sad about her own struggle right now with her Parkinson's, her memory, you know, and feeling helpless because I don't, I can't like change it. She's not asking me to, but it's just more that grief feeling. And, um, you know, I keep having these repeated waves of like emotion that I don't really even know what to do with, like, and I talked about this at Living in Session, like, I'm angry. I know that's irrational, but I'm angry. Like, why do they all, my mom, my dad, and my 98-year-old grandmother, like, have to be... All going through this at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And why, you know, and then my brother... And again, there's a lot of good there, but on the negative side, like dealing with his drama that comes in from time to time and like, why do I have to be the same one? You know, my brother was like frothing at the mouth about something where he was pissed with my parents' caretaker and my brother has enough sense to know that he, you know, he doesn't want to talk to the caretaker and say something he'll regret, right? But then mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you deal with it. And 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 it's not it's not the doing that that's that's not the issue. It's not like, oh my God, it's too much for me. It's like, why do I always have to be the fucking sane one? And what was really funny, not funny, you'll get a laugh <laughs> of irony, is I was earlier in the week when I was particularly distressed about this and I was then sharing it with and I was you know he was bearing witness and being supportive and I was just like you know I just can't deal with the fact like just because my brother you know can't manage his mm, emotional whatever like I got to be the one in there you know talking because I got to be the one who's calm well the very same thing albeit with a different tinge had occurred you know a couple weeks prior with our uh, renovation team for the apartment and leaping to the worst possible con- conclusion and really pissed about something with them. And like, I had to step in and, you know, manage the conversation. <laughs> so, so when I was like frothing about this with my brother earlier in the week and he sort of quipped, he's like, uh, yeah, like you did with me and, you know, the building people. And it was sort of like a good recognition from him. And he wasn't, I mean, he, he knew what he was saying. And I sat there and was like. So that's, wait, can we pause there? Yeah. Did you feel. Witness? Recognized? Yeah, witness in that moment? I did. Great. And that did was you good. Affirm, did, did you affirm that to. Um, I did in the sense of, you know, we both kind of laughed. I said, oh, you know. <laughs> hadn't really thought about that before, you know, <laughs> hadn't made that connection. It was, it was like that. I didn't, I think that's I, I, I may have said thanks for noticing or something like that. Yeah. I, 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 I would just take a moment. You don't have to make a big deal out of it, but I think mm-hmm. it's worth, it is something that you have wanted for a long time and yeah. you just got, True. You, didn't, you didn't get him behaving differently, but you got an awareness of it. Yeah. I think yeah. you need to to appreciate that. You don't have to lay it on thick. You don't have to make right. it like he's just gone to the moon and back, okay? Yeah, yeah. But you you do want to, a la, like, how you train a puppy dog, right? You Reward the good. Reward the good. Cor- correct. And yeah. we all need that. And it's not just husbands, okay? 
We yeah. all need that. So I, I I don't want it to come across as sexist. Oh yeah, yeah. Dog training, no, you. you know. Yeah. But, but it, it's an opportunity for you to acknowledge that and yeah. really um, support that vulnerability on his part and and ownership. So mm-hmm. yeah. No, it's a really good point, and it's it's just listening to you say this. Uh, also striking me that I'm, I kind of missed until you just said it, like that was getting something that I wanted, meaning being seen, because it's yeah. so true, right? But I wasn't even thinking about that. Like my head went to, I mean, I, it, it did sort of lighten the mood because there was mm-hmm. something kind of funny about like, aha, here you go, you know? Yeah. But my head then went, internally, I mean, I wasn't annoyed with that or anything, went to, fuck, you know, here's a further proof point that this is like, like I'm stuck in that role. Like this is my role in life and I have to do everything by myself. And, you know, it's that, that whole like play. So that's kind of. Yeah. Interesting. So that's, that's the, that's the place where the growth needs to happen right there mm-hmm. in that moment. So yeah. first, affirming great noticing okay like yeah you just wouldn't have noticed that previously you you're seeing that because totally and, and the frame on this Courtney that you really need to to start utilizing even more yeah is that you are seeing this now because this is the 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 woman you know yourself to be that you haven't yet stepped into right that gap stuff that we've been talking about, the who, yeah. the identity, you're able to see this because you know who you need to be. Does that make sense? This is a positive, not a negative. Well, I get, I get the, I get, I get it in part. I think I get the, like, it's raising my ability to even see the play while it's happening, so to speak, is like revealing to me that I'm at this next level of awareness, which is leading me to that future self. So see it as a good thing. I'm going to say it slightly differently. I'm going to say because you know who you need to be, you are aware of this. And I guess the irony, so I'm hearing that, taking that in, I'm like, fuck, who do I need to be? <laughs> like, okay, who, so then use, yeah. this in, use this as a tool, because as it is, right, it is a tool. Yeah. So, if I, if you know that the fact that you're aware that you're behaving in a way internally in your thinking that is not how you want to behave, right? That was the recognition. Look, I'm yeah. still doing that thing, right? Uh, On the one hand, it feels justified. On the other hand, it doesn't feel good, right? How I want to behave. I, I'm here. I am. I'm talking to a mirror about it, right? Yeah. I'm recognizing that. So who is it that I want to be in this moment? Answer that question. And so, I know I only have two minutes, but just using something with you, but then I think I lose a thread. So, so in the moment of me feeling upset about, you know. You weren't upset. You were saying something in your head. Let's go back and figure out what you were saying because it was very specific. Yeah. It was something along the lines of I always have to be the one. This is just evidence. This yeah. the fact my great that my great brother. that he said this, but this is just evidence again that I always have to be the one. So it's evidence of so you're looking, you're seeking to prove that yeah. you have to hold it all. So Got what it. would this be calling you forward into being? I'm gonna throw out what I think you you yeah. You're you. You get to throw out what you think. Okay. I think this is calling you forward into being someone who does not seek evidence of what she doesn't want, but seeks evidence of what she does want. Okay? Got I it. think it's Got it. also being someone who receives the appreciation and doesn't go straight back to living out the thing that she doesn't want she then says, yes, that's true. I could really use you to help me in this way going forward. 
like a clear communication. Yes. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Love it. <sighs> and <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. I mean, this is, this is the stuff that creates freedom, Courtney. Like once yeah. you really get this and you start going, okay, well, I need to pause here for a couple of minutes. Maybe, you know, as you get better, right. you know, now I no longer do it pen to pad because I can do it in my head. But in the beginning, I would pause and I would take 15 minutes and I would write it down and I would play it out. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm thinking. That must mean I'm doing this. Like, what's the result of that? Then, well, what do I want? Who would I need to be in order to get that? Oh, I would need to be this kind of person. Okay, now I need to take the action at that level. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, that process over and over. Again. No, it's fascinating because I keep, I keep, even as you were saying that, I'm taking notes here, and I had this like feeling in my solar plexus of this attachment to wanting to be angry and blame everyone else. Yeah, that's the addiction to crappy. That is, and and to say it another way, that yeah. is your. Your your existing up until now identity. Yeah. And it feels uh it doesn't feel good, <laughs> but, but it feels no. right. Okay. Yeah. It's known, it feels normal, it feels right. So your subconscious wants to bring you right back to that identity, feeling those feelings, feeling that self image. That identity is associated with feeling crappy. You actually don't want to feel crappy. Consciously you're like, I don't like Correct. this. Correct. Okay. But yeah. subconsciously it's your set point. So in the face yeah. of that feels like the right way to be subconsciously. You have to mm-hmm. use your greatest power, which is your power to choose, and hold yourself to that higher standard. Okay. And yeah. Think differently, and it doesn't just it, thinking differently doesn't count. It's, it's like it's, it's like half yeah. a percent. Okay, you get a little a little like <laughs> for that, but you actually have to act differently. Okay, yeah, yeah. both both matter. Okay, uh-huh. but uh-huh. nothing like nothing changes until you show up and say, "Hey, brother, explain yeah. me." Okay, yeah. because totally. otherwise it's like I I'm just I'm 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 still actually being this other woman totally okay that was very clear i get it now okay thank you (laughs) okay Okay. Okay. thank you so much for joining us for coaching uncut if you loved what you learned today please leave us a comment and let us know we always love a thumbs up or a five-star review so thank you in advance for that And if you want to take your life and your business to the next level and it's time to scale, please reach out to us and schedule a consult at theunstoppablewoman.com slash next level. So that's theunstoppablewoman.com slash next level. See you in the next episode. Rock it out and be unstoppable. Unstoppable.